Why is the color so weird? I don't know what's going on. I keep trying to adjust it and it just keeps getting weirder. I promise you, I don't have like an overglow under layer of translucent highlighter orange about my being. I just promise, you'll have to take my word for it. About a week or so ago, I was set free into the world for some unscheduled alone time. And I don't think I'm the only mom out there that when that happens, you go a little giddy. And then by the end of the day, I shared the day's affairs with you guys on Instagram in uh, Insta story, which I will share here so that it all makes sense. But let me explain how I got to that point. Earlier in the day, we had a family plan of action where we were all gonna go out and run some sensible errands together. And then in the final hour, Ryan decided to choose keeping all the kids with him so that he could watch the basketball playoffs and sending me out alone into the wide world without children or a budget or any good sense to encumber me. And this is what happened. Every time I turn on the camera, it's a new adventure on my head. Maybe I should check a mirror before I leave the house. Meh, details. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to say, that the following story is really Ryan's fault. Yeah. Today was one of those like extra hectic days where all the simple things became hard. Like for instance, I tried to make a simple dinner and chicken stock exploded around the kitchen in ways where it's going to get in tiny crevices that we won't ever be able to get to until we like move out. And when we needed to go out of the house to run an errand to pick up something that cost $2.93, Ryan decided to send me out by myself so that he could watch the basketball game and he would deal with the kids. That was the first mistake because we both know me and pent up angsty Marie where nothing's going right sent out into the world with nobody holding me back means I'm going to come home with some weirdo stuff. $2.93. I did spend those numbers. Just move the decimal in some, a different configuration, but same, like same exact numbers though. And I felt like I could confess to you guys because Ryan doesn't watch my Insta stories. But you know who does? Nini. Nini, I had a I had a big day. And sometimes crazy chicken hair minivan mama needs to just be set free into the world without any boundaries. I mean, really, who's to blame? Because there's so many ways for me to justify these purchases that I I mean, there's like so many good so many good justifications. I don't even know where to start. I, I it's just fine. It's fine. No fooling. My neighbor just came over to say hi walked up with her dog. She didn't think this was weird. So once again, another, I, this is fine. She thought it was fine. I feel like this is a good icebreaker to things went weird when I was out. So I'm just going to walk in and be like, sup, see what happens. Oh yeah, that makes sense. He knows who he married. See, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be, because sometimes I vlog there. It's fun to be able to say a thing and have it up rather than having to do the rigmarole of YouTube sometimes. Link below. So now I will explain why I purchased the things that I purchased by the time they land in my hand. And hopefully by the time I'm holding them, I will have a good justified reason because I don't know why for most of them still. So we'll see how this turns out. Fun. We'll work our way to this guy because honestly, I don't know how to explain him the most. How do you justify an unplanned alligator? We'll see. We shall see. A lot of you guys asked, what was the $2 and some change that I was sent out of the house for in the first place? And it was to get a few Costco prints of pictures from the Mother's Day photo shoot that I did with the girls to give to Nancy for her birthday dinner. It was going to cost under $3 to do that. I think it's reasonable to say that every logical Costco shopping person in the world understands that you don't go in for a less than $3 purchase and not come out with anything else. Ryan had to have expected me to come home with something else. Reasonable humans who shop at Costco know this. It's just an unspoken rule. Here's the first thing I bought. A giant 25 ounce jar of capers. I've never purchased capers and had them in my house before, but I do enjoy them in a restaurant meal in which you get like seven. And now I have 25 ounces of capers in my fridge. I'm making spaghetti squash for dinner tonight. I will top it with capers. And then it will be one one hundredth of this purchase well spent. Next, jarred goods got me this time. Pickled herring and wine sauce. I was raised on this stuff and I love it. Obviously, I've already used some. Go out for pictures, come home with pickled fish. Let's take a little break from my jarred experiences, of which there is one more. But I also got these. My kids colored on the crackers. There's a heart in the O of sweet potato. That's Miss Garlic Girl. Wherever she was, a heart remains. This is because as a recent convert to a healthier diet, I too enjoy feeling like I'm a part of the snacking community. And these are delicious and I can have 16 of them. Is that right? Did I memorize that? I memorized that. Appreciate you. Not pictured, but worth a mention, is I did get myself a nice five pack of reasonably priced lady underpants. 
I think they're quite nice. There was lace at the top and pretty colors. I am that lady that gets my underwear at Costco. Comfortable in my choices and I'm comfortable in my britches. Back to the jarred goods. Little Mama's Hot Peppers. If you are a part of the health food community and you feel like anything you're eating is getting a little bit bland, this solves that problem. Wow, that could have been a commercial. I might add them to my spaghetti squash and capers tonight. Sheila G's Brownie Brittle. This went fast. And the reason for this is, when you are sent out of the house for an unplanned afternoon alone, you while out a little bit. Sometimes you buy a bunch of jarred goods that you didn't expect, and then you sit in your car after you load everything into it and you eat half a bag of brownie brittle. Sometimes that's a Tuesday. Okay, while we're still at Costco, I want you to note some of the other things that are not Costco related items on here. I had to stop for one more purchase because you can't give somebody a birthday gift without a card. And who wants to wait in line at a grocery store for just a card? So this is my last Costco item and it's actually the first thing that I grabbed when I walked into Costco. But I do have one more bonus Costco thing to show you just because I think it's cute and you should get it even though I didn't get it this time. Nini actually got it the last time she was at Costco but it's so darling that I wanted to share. Here's how you come home with an accidental alligator. Let me explain. I will say I also came home with a rotisserie chicken and a Superfoods seven super seven seed salad, whatever that one's called, where it has like the kale and the Brussels sprouts and the cranberries, because that's another requirement of all Costco goers that you always come home with those items. So what's funny is this guy was the very first thing I grabbed and put in my empty cart when I first walked through the door. This is how I find joy in little teeny tiny moments. I had a life experience grabbing this alligator off the shelf. I'm, it might just be me, but I feel like there's other moms in this world who've had this feeling. As your arm is reaching out for something that you know is ridiculous and that you're not supposed to be doing, it doesn't even have to be a purchase, but in this case it was, you just feel this surge. It's like, it's the same surge of like being a high school kid and cutting school. So that alone means no regrets, but I can justify him. Here we go. I bought him because we go to our family cabin a couple of times every summer and he is a water floaty. So then I started to think I could hide him up until the point that we have to go and then tell the kids a bedtime story every night, progressively adding a little bit more of the story in which I would say that somewhere in the city is an alligator who's been wandering around among the high rises, wishing that he lives at a lake house nestled between two canyon walls. I will pause, the children will add, we have a lake house nestled between two canyon walls. And the only reason why alligator, what's his name? Big Joe, the only reason why Big Joe hasn't been able to fulfill his dream is because he doesn't have a ride and cannot walk on his tiny little alligator legs all the way to the Canyon Lake House on the other side of the mountains. As the calendar date gets closer, I'll tell more and more stories about Big Joe trying to ride the city bus, but alligators aren't allowed on buses. He tried to paddle a boat, but how do you take a boat to a lake? He'll try to rent a hot air balloon, but forget to pack his sunscreen. He'll try to rent a bicycle, but it just obviously, that's not gonna go well for poor fat Joe. Oh, Big Joe, sorry, only love. So then on the morning up, when we actually wake up to go to our family cabin, we will surprise the kids by already having Big Joe in the car and then all of the stories will be real and that is how you have childhood magic and then every year for the rest of the summers, for the rest of their lives, they will go visit Big Joe at the lake house where his best friends Sadie, Scarlett, and Luca will come see him and he'll so look forward to it and that is how you justify a purchase. High five. High five. That wraps up Costco, but I did want to show you this little cutie dress. They have these at Costco still. Nancy got this for Scarlett. It's such a darling little sunshiny summer dress. It's got this sweet braided detail, and I love how full it is and twirly, and there's something about it that makes it look like it's maybe from the 70s, maybe from the 80s, or maybe modern today. I love it. It's probably my favorite summer dress on her, so I just wanted to share that. Now we gotta go get ourselves a greeting card. And when you're going to go to the greeting card store and you walk past the literal garbage store, an actual, actual garbage store, where you like take your big blue and green recycle bins, the actual garbage people, they also have cute little boutique style stuff. So look, I got this, cute. Then I made it into the greeting card store and before I found a greeting card, I found this little fruffle and Sadie, had her wildflower birthday party. Yes, I vlogged it. I don't know what I got, but if I can turn it into something, I will. She partied hard. It's already coming apart a little bit, but that's okay. Look, it's so cute. It has sort of a vintage feel to it. Smocking at the top, lace fruffle, lace out the bottom, and then these chambray bloomers with a fruffle on the butt. Sold for $12 to the lady in the back. Next to the greeting cards, they have stationery, which is super unfortunate for me because it's like seeing shelter puppies where you just wanna take them all home. This is the effect that notebooks have on me. And these are the prettiest notebooks I've ever seen. If I were a notebook, 
I think I would look like this. The problem is, I can't write in it because as soon as I write in it, I'll feel like I ruin it. So now I just have to hold it and the anxiety that comes along with not using it, but also ruining it if I use it. So I just bought myself a burden with this one. And then I got this because sometimes you need a tall thing. And for my final treasure, I had already purchased an alligator at one store, so it wasn't that far off to come home with a jellyfish squid. Mm. Yeah, and the octopus, there's too much going on, so jelly, jelly guy, he's so cute. He's really, I think, whatever you want him to be. Why did I buy this? I don't know. Cute! Thus concludes the This Got Weird haul, but I do have a bonus item for you since I mentioned something for the other two girls. This came in the mail today. <laughs> I don't have a problem, it's fine. But look at this, for little Luca, since I hadn't mentioned anything for him yet, he loves overalls and his other ones are so high up on his ankles that they are beyond high waters, although I think that looks kinda cute. It's like the little Huck Finn wild boy look. So they're Cat and Jack from Target and the insides have pineapples in them. Nobody's ever gonna see that, but I'll know how cute he is. I love it, I love it all. I don't regret any of it. It might be part of the problem. Oh yeah, I also bought a puzzle. This, but this is a gift. It's for a friend. Emily Winfield Martin is one of my favorite artists and I thought this puzzle would be quite cute. I say it's for a friend because I already bought one for me a long time ago. And this is my second one for a friend. But look at that picture. Isn't it cute? What I can say is, at the end of the day, I had a good time. I could have just run a couple of errands and saved myself some bucks, but instead I came home with treasures, memories, and now I got a video out of it too. So, boom. I don't regret it. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification. See you next time. Bye.